it's summertime and i know y'all tired of wearing them wigs because i know they slide them back it's so hot outside but if you're looking for a easy simple quick beginner friendly hairstyle stay tuned to this tutorial <laughs> Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a bit different. We are doing a boho passion twist individual method. Like, I really don't know what they call them, but I just know they some passion twists. We are doing a tutorial. I am gonna show you guys how I achieved this look with only spending $40. Well, kind of because I had a little bit of products at home by myself, but this is how they came out. Super cute, super light, and just beautiful i'm probably gonna keep these in for a good like two months y'all this summer has been summering and it's super hot but let me show you guys what i use we have cuban twist 16 inch honestly it doesn't matter what length you use because we're going to be cutting it like three times make sure to get your correct hair color it's important please we have the passion twist crochet hair we got this from amazon because in a hair store it's too expensive it's just too much also, we are using a clip, edge brush, scissors, and a crochet needle. You definitely need the crochet needle, for real. For the product, we are using Lock and Style. I think it's what it's called, Lock and Style or Lock and Gel, one of those. I just know it's super expensive, but it kind of hold my little curls down, you know, for a while. Then we have my fan because that ring light, it's too hot. I needed my fan. Oh, and also my cocoa butter because I needed a you know grease my lips up they was a little chap but let's get right into it now i did go ahead and box off my hair in the back because that was going to take up too much time this video is going to be like two hours long so i did that all the way around but i did save y'all a little section in the front just to show y'all how i figured out where to part and how big my boxes were well i was confused on how big and small i wanted my boxes to be so they may be a little cricket and they may be a little, you know, wop-sided. So don't focus too much on that, please. Now this next section, I'm just gonna speed it up because it's a bit self-explanatory. You know, just part your boxes, part your lines, and you know, you wanna make sure it looks like the other side. They need to be twins. But like I said, my box is a little crooked, so don't pay too much attention. Okay, so let's get into the good part, the hair. Now, I kind of wish they would have put, you know, like all the Passion Twist hair in one pack. I did end up using a total of eight, and that's how many I ordered originally from Amazon. I thought that wasn't going to be enough, but I'm happy. It only took eight because, like I said, that hair is expensive. Now, I messed up by trying to separate that. I don't know why I did that. But with the Marley, I'm sorry, the Cuban Twist hair, I do like to separate it and get it a little, you know, thicker and wider because like when you go to wrap, it needs to lay flat and it needs to cover the top portion. I'm gonna just explain it later on in the video, but you're gonna cut your one piece into four, hold on, let me do my math. Okay, yeah, I was right. So one strand is gonna give you four pieces. You're gonna cut it two times. Yeah, two times. All right, so I caught myself trying to record a little piece in the back, y'all. I can't even see in the back myself, so I really don't even know why I thought this was going to work. Okay, so boom. I went ahead, did my whole head. I'm not going to tell y'all how I was up to like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning trying to finish my hair because I had somewhere to go the next day. So I saved you guys two pieces up in the front, and I'm going to try my hardest to explain this, you know, beginner-friendly, easy way. So you're gonna take two pieces of the Passion Twist hair, only two, don't split it, just pick up two pieces. Then you wanna grab one piece of your Cuban Twist hair and you're gonna like, you know, stack that all together cause that's all going to go onto one braid. So three pieces of hair. Take your two fingers, wrap the hair around it because you need to hold it really tight. 
then you're going to grab your crochet needle i highly suggest that when you stick it through that the latch is up but sometimes these needles they have a mind of their own but just try to keep the latch up because it can snag your hair and hurt so once you stick the needle through you're going to place the strands of hair onto the hook close the latch and then you want to pull it back through not all the way stop it just a little bit and then you're going to place your thumb through the loop because you're going to now pull one side only one side y'all pull one side through all the way through mm -hmm. keep it going just like that and then you're going to have you know two separate sides of hair it's going to be a bit messy but you're going to fish out the cuban twist hair make sure one side of the cuban twist hair is longer than the other you see how the short part is up there so you're going to take the longer side now you're going to begin to wrap like you would do a fox dog now i don't know how many times i went down and wrapped i just kept wrapping you know till i thought it was good enough if you want to, you know, to make sure your passion twist, you know, look uniform, you can count how many times you wrap down. Now, when you wrap, you want to make sure you overlap because if not, it's going to cause like little spaces in between. Some people like that because it gives it a more natural, like a real deal boho look, but no, not for me. <laughs> it's okay. Now we're going to twist. To do the twist method, you need to know how to two strand twist, basically. So you're going to like twist one side twist the other side and then twist both together you know like a rope twist now if you don't understand how to two strand twist just comment down below and we can head over to tiktok and i can give you a full blown tutorial because that just needs its own separate video As you get down towards the end of the twist sometimes it will look like this just split it have one short one long on this side one short one long on the other side just split them and continue you know twisting on down to the bottom i do twist my hair all the way down because i don't want any of it to unravel which is another reason why you have to use the two strand twist method you can't just twist it because it's going to unravel all right so just in case you didn't get that we're gonna do our final one take your cuban twist hair you're gonna take two strands of the passion twist hair sandwich them together at the top and then you want to put your two fingers, you know, like that. Take your crochet needle. Make sure the latch is closed. It may open, you know, like it just did here for me. <laughs> and then you want to place your hair onto the hook. Okay, latch it closed. Then you want to pull it through. Don't forget, stick your thumb through so you're making sure you're only pulling one side through. You don't need both, just one. Next, we're going to wrap, just like how you do a fox lock. Wrap that on around. Don't forget to overlap this part that you wrapped before so you don't get that you know messed up look well not messed up look it's just like a more messier look now we're going to twist using the two strand method twist one side twist the other and then you're going to twist them together y'all two strand twists it's so simple it's very easy but like i said if you need a more in-depth tutorial head on over to tiktok and we will get you a video out At this point, I was super over it and super tired. <laughs> it had to be a good 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. I was just ready to lay down over it. Now, right here, I don't want you guys to be, you know, confused as to why one looks smaller than the other. It's going to puff up. It's curly hair, so it's okay. Once you stop doing the part that you're doing, it's going to puff up. 
after two days, long mornings, just, I don't know. It just took forever, it seemed like. <laughs> but we are finished. This is the final product. All 30 inches of boho passion twist. I mean, could they really be considered boho? I'm, I'm not, honestly not too sure, but this is the finished product. Now, we're going to try to style the few pieces of edges that I do have. It ain't, you know, really too much up there, but not too much, please, because I'm working on it. I'm working on, you know, growing my edges back. That's why I'm doing some protective styles. No wigs for a while. So, yeah. This right here. Oh, I love me some mousse. This one, you know your stylist is done. When they pull out the mousse and they already started that boiling hot water, this, I don't know what happened right there, but this is my favorite part. I love the mousse because my head was so, like, tight and tender. It just, it just feels so good. I was just, no, I'm going to get in my bed and lay down. I do want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch my video. This is so, so hard to do. This is my first hair tutorial and I think I did pretty good. Now, if you have any tips, tricks, or, you know, just anything about a new style, uh, let's see, an easier way I can record this video, an easier way to do some passion twists, please comment down below. But as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.